Look at us. I don't have my magnifying glass. Can't pick it up. Can't pick it up yet. Frog detective, crime solving agency. Frog detective speaking. Hi, detective. Hi, supervisor. Why did you hang up on me? Huh? We are just talking a moment ago about a new case. <laughs> One of Warlock Woods, right? Yeah. I hung out because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy, detective. Put on your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry, anyway. Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They, they don't get many visitors around here. A couple of days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal. Doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into a new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. Me, for real. That's, that's, just, that's just me. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. But someone in town seems to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? That's so mean. I know, so rude. Nobody who has any leads in this case. They don't know who done it. That's when you come in, detective. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. Great. Hop to it. Haha. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. The new version of the woods is special. She's invisible. <gasps> oh, sorry, sorry. Invisible. <laughs> there we go. Ah, that was loud. And a wizard. An invisible wizard. Cool. Uh, what's the relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade, the decorations, and the celebrations. They want her to be unvisible. De -vis de invisibled. Uh, visible. Exactly. Anyway, do you have any? Have everything you need? Um, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass. Of course. It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, supervisor. Good luck, detective. All right, let's go, gamers. Oh shit! Oh, this is fancy. Oh shit! Oh no! Is that that is that the the lobster cop? Oh my god! Oh oh shit! These angles. Oh, the cinematography is insane! Ah, oh, shit. That's the famous frog detective. Famous? I'm not famous. Haha, <laughs> perhaps not. But I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Um, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. That's our entire office. <laughs> I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Nope, that's my office. I'm putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office! And then you say, sure is, little cleaning frog. And then I say, I'm a crime-solving frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually you're gone already. Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mysteries, and sometimes I forget to be polite. If I was polite all the time, I would have never had time to solve my crimes. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, Lobster Cop. Perhaps, but detective, you must keep trying, never give up. I can give you some tips if you like. Wow, yes please! Tip number one, pay attention. <gasps> you should make sure you were looking at things, and paying attention to words. Yes, quite right. Tip number two, everyone is a suspect. <gasps> Even you! I will suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three, carry a notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. They are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. I suppose you're right. I have a notebook, though. Well, it's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, really? Yep, there are stickers you can use, too. I bought them with my crime-solving money. Cool. Oh, you get to it, detective. Head to my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay, thanks, lobster cop. Hmm, which I guess should I pick? And where should they go? <gasps> Flowey from Undertale. The bird can be by the flower. Um, who else can be enjoying the flower? The robot. Um, we can get the cactus. The apple is with the cactus. And so is banana. The starfish, one starfish here. Another starfish here. This will be the protector of the notebook. 
and it'll be eating an egg. The egg is not sentient. Yet Worm is friends with the alligator. We're gonna have another bird up here who's gonna be rocking these boots. Oh shit, they don't fit that well. Hold on. Could be rocking these boots. Um, UFO. Okay, no, the alligator's gonna be protecting the UFO. We don't need the word notes in here because only losers take notes. We, we, we're gonna hide the fact that we're taking notes. Alligator protects the UFO. The, the cactus is gonna have a hat. Uh, we gotta get the fish right up here. Uh, the fish is gonna be rocking the boots. She, she's slaying, your honor, she's slaying. Get this guy. I don't know who this guy is, but we're getting him. Uh, he drives a car. This is his car. He's a businessman that wears lipstick and and also some more um, nail polish. Um, but he also has a bestie. They hide their horns because they wear the hat. Uh, the sun is nice, nice and out today. The beetle. We need the beetle as well. He obviously can't go without the magnifying glass. We're a detective. It's in our nature. Um, get some carrots in. Carrot, carrot can be part of the, the flower gang down here as well. Best friends with the robot. Look at our beautiful notebook. Yep. Lobster cop motive. Maybe lobster cop has made up the crime to give me a challenge. That's really nice of him. Also very unlikely. <laughs> Needs. To figure out where to put my cleaning supplies. Not in my office. Notes. Number one best detective. Has lots of fans. It's super cool. So many trophies. I hope I get a trophy one day. Detective. Motive. Hmm, I don't think I did it, but maybe I have a rare curse where I commit crimes in my sleep. Needs a holiday. Haha, <laughs> just joking. <laughs> Notes, I have a jumper. I have pants. I have magnifying glass. I have a good attitude. Hell yeah. Time to solve another mystery. I I hope there's some way I can keep my notebook with the same stickers next game. Or maybe we won't have the notebook next game. Um, and I will cry. Just kidding. <laughs> Super Shop presents a game by Worm Club. With assistance from Film Victoria. Oh. No carts allowed? Oh no. Oh, we, we move in. Warlock Woods. Starring the detective. Susan, Ralph, Mandy, Mary, and several more characters. I like the dog. <laughs> Frog Detective 2, the case of the invisible wizard. Every leaf is suspicious. Bro, I just look like fucking town of Salem. <laughs> Let's talk to you first. Can I pop the balloon? Pop, pop. I can look into their house. Oh shit. Oh, this is cute. Oh, they're, this person's living their best life for real. Oh, my stars. It's you. It's me. The famous lobster cop. I really thought you'd be a lobster. Uh, no, I'm a frog. Yeah, what's your name, lobster cop? I have to tell you something. I'm not lobster cop. Why not? I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. Uh, frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cop not available? Fortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency, which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Oh, I didn't know that's how that worked. <laughs> you should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. She did it. It's gonna be her. I put up a sign for the wizard but got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. Hopefully I'm, it's just a misunderstanding or a mistake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right? Even you, especially you. Especially me? Oh, no, sorry, not sure why I said that. But you're not on the hook just yet. Hook. That's it. Detective, can you please find me a hook? I can hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Oh, I'll do my best. Susan. Motive? Maybe she didn't like her sign. Destroyed the parade of embarrassment. Needs. Need to fix her sign. As if she's not suspicious. This makes her much more suspicious than she realizes. <laughs> Upset about the parade being destroyed. Worked really hard on her sign. Can I look into your house too? Two people live here. Zebra. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. Huh? Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. 
might be difficult for you to hear. This is why I don't talk loud because my voice is cracking at like every sentence. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? You can hear me at this volume? Yeah. Weird. <laughs> I'm a detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yeah. But you're so small. I have average frog height. How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Hmm. It's nothing against the wizard, but I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now and our space is big. But I would really like my own home. Oh. I've been eyeing off that whole house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day. But the wizard got here there first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. This house, this house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe you just renovate it and turn it into two houses. You can split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs. Like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, detective. People do a good job. I'll get my own building show. Show? What? Building show? I think I read that right. Motive. In true pirate fashion, wanted to cause a ruckus? Needs building supplies. Loves pirates. I patch is cosmetic only. A private boy. Wants to renovate. Thinks I'm too small. I am not. What are you doing? Who are you? Detective. Oh. I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? What? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No. But I heard... Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa! Is that what telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud! Wow, this frog has a temper. Anyway, who are you? I'm Naughty. Okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. What can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh. But I can tell you about the wizard. I, I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she's invisible. Great. And she just moved in. Yep. And... Uh, she's a wizard. <laughs> I think you mentioned that. Uh, no, I, I don't think I did. Right, okay. Uh, sorry. It's fine. Anyway. I swear I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. But as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way and I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. Oh my god, My Chemical Romance? I found a s- I found a rug or something I could use. I could cover up the mess. The town is in disarray. I don't have time to track one down. Oh no! Thanks for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. Will do. I think she's just stupid. I- I- I think- I- I don't suspect her right now. I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. Okay, we got a pie! Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Wanna hop in? A little bit. Uh, but I'm on a case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor. Who are you? I'm a detective. Is that your real name? Maybe. Oh my god. Frog detective lore? So why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend, Naughty. Oh! She's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus, I heard there were gonna be delicious pies for the parades at the time it was perfect. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. He's fucking British! Holy shit! You solved a crime already? Yeah. Ralph did it. How do you know? Um, good point. I haven't decided that bit yet, but it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? Uh, motive? The reason for destroying the parade? Oh, well, um, I, I think because he has a night patch on. I don't think that's a real motive. It doesn't make any sense. That is the rude one. This conversation isn't going anywhere. Neither are you, apparently. Not until I solve the mystery. I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I, I mean it. I just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you eat something? And get out of the hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. You could have asked someone to get you something to eat. Like who? There's nobody here. I'm here. Right, there I go, being rude again. If you have to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. Please, take- one money as an apology. Yeah! Oh, baby, let's go! We're rich! Uh, we might as well give them the pie. Hello, Victor. I have a pie for you. Detective, where did you find this pie? I found it on the ground. Sorry, Detective. You may have to speak up. The tub jets are mighty loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective, I do not want to eat ground pie. I made a mistake. I'd say maybe even two. Two mistakes? Yes, one mistake for giving me a dirty pie, another for... Mistake for giving me a pie. That does not belong to you. That's right, detective. 
Though I'm visiting from a town, I know what this is one of Mandy's pies. They're delicious. You just happen to find one on the ground. It cannot be yours to give away, so I cannot accept it. Yeah, you're right, Victor. I have made two mistakes. I'm s I'm sorry and I'm sorry. It's okay, detective. I'll be watching you. You have this pie to Mandy. Okay, I'll do that. Victor, motive. I hadn't eaten, could have been jealous of the parade. Needs something to eat. Notes. Such a rude individual. Perhaps only rude because of hunger. Maybe just rude in general. Doesn't live here, only visiting. I want to visit Pumpkinville. <laughs> Is this Mandy? There's a pie right here, so maybe I talk to you and we'll trade the pie. You're the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's a mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you. I'm not. Shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective. Are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. And besides, the shoes are enchanted. Oh? I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky. Which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. I should never- I never should have learned a tidying up spell. It shouldn't take me too long to clean up this mess, but first I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? I think I have them everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying. It's been ages making them. <laughs> Do you need help finding your pies? Yes! Detective, seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? Yep. Thanks, I do too. Worst purchase I've ever made in terms of practicality. But it brings this look to a new level. I may be a dingus, but I'm a very stylish dingus. Uh, what were we talking about? My outfit? Uh, no, before that. Pies! Right, you offered help pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. If you could bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them all up and give you one as payment. Okay, sounds like fun. Hey, thanks, detective. Motive! Upset about not winning the shoes, perhaps? You get on the parade. Needs help finding her five pies. Okay. Notes. Last night she was on Wisby bidding for shoes. Someone knocked over her pies. What a bummer. School taught me about fashion. Fair enough. Real witch. Spooky. I'm on a hunt for pies, as well as a criminal. Six dollars? Oh shit. I only have one. You save up eight. I can get the... I want the, I want the, 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 the trophy. Is that toothpaste again? Mary. La. Just me singing for you. Ooh, la, 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 la. Hello? Hello. Frog. Hello, what's your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too, did you like my song? Hmm? Yep. I've been practicing all day and all night. Oh, are you okay? I'm tired. Oh, huh? Maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe. You should do everything in the same fucking note. You sing very loudly. Yep. I might. Everyone has soundproofed their houses. Sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. <laughs> Based. Uh, I think I sound very good, even late at night. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. Wow. That's when my energy is the highest. Me. <laughs> Me for real. This doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business. Oh, yes, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to soft sounds before bed. Welcome to my hair salon. Snip, snip. That'll be 100 money. Just joking. Anyway, who are you? I'm a detective. Oh, cool. Can you question me? Do you mind if I ask? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, boy, I love questions. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Oh, boy, yeah. Uh, sucks that the parade was destroyed. Oh! We're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much, just singing outside. You were outside and the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. What did you see? Detective. Have you heard of extortion? Yes. That's great news. Is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. What the fuck? I don't think that's legal. I am above the law. I like this girl. Oh. Why are you extorting me? I would love five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggy Wood and become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have any other ways to get there. I figured if you get money for me, I can find the guild of my dreams. La. 
What do you do in exchange? Information. Kind of information. A phone number. Huh? Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. I can say is there in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay. We all get extorted every now and then. Yeah. Anyway, come back to me when you have my money. Oh boy, I love questions. Do you know what she needs and what to do to get it? Perhaps the wizard is a better singer than her. <laughs> needs five money. No, uh, sings really loudly all the time. Everyone in soundproof their houses. Wants to be a big star. Is extorting me. I've never been extorted before. What a thrill. <laughs> Customer, welcome to Carlos. All things you, you could need shop. Are you Carlos? Yes, just like the name of the shop. That's me. Haha, <laughs> how cool is that? Shop has my name in it. So cool. A company also has my name in it. What's your company called? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. What's your name? Crime? Oh, no. I'm the Frog Detective. It's not really a name, though. More of a title. Oh, I suppose you're right. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool, I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we're all our own biggest fans. Being conceited, conceited is a social construct. <laughs> we have rejected it. For real! Woo, based. What do you know about the new wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? Uh, the invisible wizard that moved in literally next door? Wait, really? Someone moved in? Yeah. The place has been empty for ages. Can I say hi? Uh, well, the parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade? A parade that everyone has been prepping for? Wow, nice. Can't wait. It was destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a roller coaster of information. I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved in the decoration at all? Nope. Should have offered help. Should I offer help now? Wait, who's the parade for again? Is it for me? No, it's for the invisible wizard. She just moved in next door. Right, okay, uh, oh dear. The party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw a parade, everyone has party hats to wear. Mine was ruined at the last parade. I've been too busy working my shop to buy a new one. Oh no! How embarrassing! I can't show up at a parade without one. You think it's too late to order one online? It'll be tight. You're right, how? What should I do? Don't stress, I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. Oh my gosh, thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Unfortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Not a problem. Motive. Could be worried about the wizard. The wizard doesn't shop locally. It needs party hat. Note, busy boy. <laughs> Works really hard. Didn't know anything bad had happened. Seems stressed about the parade. Doesn't have a hat. I think Carlos is chill. It would be a major plot twist if Carl ruined the parade. What if, what if the wizard ruined the parade? Oh, so this is the wizard's home. Where the fuck did he go? I saw you. I saw you. I have a stalker. I can give you pies. I can give you two pies. Mandy. Detective. I found some of your pies. Wonderful, there's only three left to find. I'll hop to it. All right. Um, kind of at a standstill. What do I do? Oh, there's a pie. The lost pie. No pies, no pies. Oh, there's a pie right here. Is there a pie up here? Are you hiding a pie in your hat, maybe? Or are you on the pie? Someone's standing on the pie. Did I miss the- oh wait, it's right there. I was saying, did I miss the pie back here? It's right here. Okay, we got the pies. <laughs> Give the lost pies. Yay! I found out your pies. Whoa, all of them? I think so. Yep, that looks like all of them. Wow. Mr. Shirts far and wide. I searched this general vicinity, yes. Wowie. Thanks, detective. As promised, here's one money. Okay, I only got one money, so I have two money. I need three more money. I don't think you ever promised payment, but I'll take you in. I'll take it anyways. I don't- um, thank you anyways? I don't know what she said. You're welcome. I will give you a pie too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry, but you can hold on to it if you like. What sense. Take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Okay, sure, thanks. Thank you for finding my pies. You got a pie! Are you still hungry? Yes, yeah, very. It's making me really rude. For example, I think your jumper is outdated. Victor, I'm not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. Don't diss our jumper! You're right, it's retro, not outdated. I'm simply very hungry. I have a pie for you from Mandy. It's not from the ground? Nope. Mandy gave me a fresh one. Seriously? Score? Yep, please enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing, and I feel much less rude now. Really? Yep. You have, a, you have beautiful eyes. Oh my god, he's flirting with me? Holy shit. Oh wow, thank you. It's true. I think that color jumper suits you perfectly. Oh my god, he's flirting with me. Holy shit. You're making me blush. Oh my god. I should give you something in return for this pie. Mm. I have a spare party hat I'm not using. Maybe you could wear it? Alas, my head is simply too weird of a shape. Not with that attitude, man. Well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks. Just your party hat. 
We're getting the chain reaction. Carlos, I have something for you. No way. It's a party hat. No way. Yes way. That's epic. That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard all day. That's this is something I would say. <laughs> Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect. It was a problem, and you solved it. Just like a true detective. Aw, thanks. You've made a fan out of me. Here, let me pay you for your work. Oh no, that's okay. Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. Okay, we got one money. Thanks. I also found this rug out back. Not, not sure what to use, what use it is, but I figured you're good at solving these types of puzzles. We got a rug! Yay! Great news! What is it? I found you a rug. What? Holy guacamole! This is great news! Thanks for tracking it down. This should do the trick. Wow, it looks just like new. Hopefully the band will notice the mess. I don't think they will. They're in a fish tank anyways. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? One guess. They're... fish? Bingo! Wait, do you mean to tell me? You got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? No way! Market Buddies? No way. Holy shit. Yep. They're on their way. Wow, I saw them live once and I was blown away. I can't wait. I'm excited too. I can't wait for the parade to begin. I better get back to work so I can solve the mystery before the parade starts. This is insane. Where you go? I should give you something for turn. Oh, I have some building supplies left over for when I made the stage. Is that enough? Sure, thank you. We got the building stuff! Plus one money. Oh no, that's okay. I, I was simply doing- simply a favor. Don't be silly. You worked so hard to get me this rug. I insist. Wow, thanks. Oh god, we got four money. We're so rich right now. Except we're putting all of our money on extortion. <laughs> Hi, Ralph. Hello, small frog. I want to track down some building supplies. Oh, great. What exciting news. I'd love to use them if you're okay to hand them over. Of course. Excellent, thank you so much. See, I'm still a little sad we don't have a dancing mouse this this game. Of course, I must pay you for this. Oh, there's no need, really. Shh, I won't hear it. Please take my money. We got one money. Uh, thank you. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of Honorary Pirate. Wow! Really gonna be a pirate? Yes, you have the treasure collecting skills of the finest pirates. For this, I must award you a special prize. Here, take this hook. Wow, well, what do I do with this? Use your own hand if you want, or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad. Not yet? What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, I don't really know why I said that. <laughs> oh, look, they made a nice little kitchen now. I'm back. You're back! Yep. I found you a hook. Oh my stars, thank you. I can't fix my sign. Now I can fix my sign red. I can't fix it. I don't know the hook said. That's okay. Yay. I'd like to repay you for this hook. No, it's okay. I got it for free. Nothing is free in this world. Just kidding. Our society is really progressive and often things are actually free. Based? As a sign of my gratitude, feel free to see my house whenever you need. Oh shit. It's fairly simple, but a beautifully decorated at least. I have a phone, too. Great, I'll be sure to use it at some point. Thanks, Susan. Okay, so we got the money for the extortion. Oh, she's gonna give us a phone number, and this is the phone that we use. Hi, Mary. Hey, detective. How's the extortion going? I think I got your five money. Whoa, for real? I didn't think the extortion would work so quickly. That's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted. I'll say. Anyway, do you have any information for me? Totally. Last night, I saw the postman drop a parcel. It was around the time the parade got destroyed. I couldn't see who he was giving it to, but it was someone here in town. Barney is the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think I mind if you called him up. I have his number. May I have it? Absolutely. We got the phone number. Woo! Who should I call? Mysterious number. I don't have any friends to call. Hey, it's Barney. Have you on speaker? Hi, Barney. Hi. Who am I talking to? Um, a uh, lobster cop. <laughs> For real, use his name, frog detective. Wow, really? No, I was tricking you. Oh, you, sh you should have said anything, loser. Rats. Who is this? Noodle? I'm a detective. I'm calling about an incident that happened last night in Warlock Woods. I didn't do it. Do what? Uh, whatever you're calling about wasn't me. Are you sure? What did I do? Last night, someone destroyed a parade which is being set up for the re new resident of the town, the Invisible Wizard. I was told you were in the area when it happened. Oh yeah, I was there. I didn't destroy anything, that's what you're asking. I was delivering a parcel. What the fuck is a parcel, by the way? I gotta look this up. <laughs> oh, it's just like a sort of package. All right. Who are you delivering it to? Uh, hmm. What was her name? Oh, Lola. Who's that? Huh, I don't think I've, I. I don't think there's anyone here in the town called Lola. Must have been someone who lives there. The address was on the parcel. 
I thought I, I though I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Hmm. Do you remember where the parcel was sent from? Oh yeah, I delivered it. I delivered a lot of parcels from them. It was from the Whizbay.net headquarters. Sounds really familiar. <gasps> the Ant Eater! I heard that name before. I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there, but this wasn't for her. Pretty sure I'm stumped on this case, Barney. Do you know if there are any other clues up behind? Signature on the delivery slip or something? Uh, I didn't get them to sign it, but I remember something dropping over at the entrance of the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they stumbled off before I noticed. At the entrance of the woods, they say. I'll check it out. Motive. Accidentally crushes van and decorations, drove away without realizing it. Notes. Cool guy. Didn't see who was who was delivering to. Lola. Responsible driver. Had me on speaker. <laughs> I should have searched, searched the entrance of the woods. For real. Don't, don't. If you're gonna call somebody while, while driving, only do it on speakerphone. Glasses. This must be the thing Barney was talking about. Hmm. They're glasses. Oh my god, this mystery is getting intense. Oh, they have a name engraved on the arm. The Invisible Wizard. <gasps> no way! Oh my god! Well, it's my only clue left. I think I should try to return these to the wizard. You should be in the old house near Carlos' shop. Hello, is anyone home? I found these glasses. <gasps> oh my god, we're gonna talk to them! Wait, what is their motive? <gasps> what is their motive? There's a pie! Doritos? Pies? Oh, this is getting intense. There's a broom! <gasps> she has a frog poster. She's a fan. Wait, these are stuff from my previous case. Ah, who's there? <laughs> motive wanted to meet Detective Nate. That could be her motive. That could be it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are. No, her motive. She lost her glasses and destroyed- She destroyed the parade because she was looking for her glasses and couldn't see. So solve that as soon as possible, please. Thanks in advance. I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Ah, I can see again. That was so quick. You should get a promotion. I don't remember calling a detective to solve this mystery, but I must have done. That- that my- what? Otherwise you wouldn't be here, right? Ha <laughs> ha. Ha, yeah. Well, no. I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I don't mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting up a parade for you. I was sorry to tell you that last night. Someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. Uh, however, I noticed that your house is littered with decorations. Where were you last night? I was on Whiz Bay. I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. They arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola? Yes, back to my- back- back to my alibi. I went to pick up shoes from the delivery guy. And then I dropped my glasses. Oh. And that's all I have to say about that. Are you sure? Yeah, I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? Um, yeah. Who? The... Guy. <laughs> evil guy. Sorry, what? Enemy. Evil guy. My enemy. Evil guy. Yeah. Are you making this up? No, e evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy. Your enemy. Yes. Too bad he's not able to be apprehended, but at least we continue with our lives. Lola, are you being dishonest? Yes. I'm really sorry. It was me. It was an accident, I swear. I was right. I was right. You destroyed a parade, didn't you? Wah. Wah. I didn't know the parade was for me. That's so nice. And I ruined it. When I dropped my glasses, I couldn't find my way home. I was bumping into everything. I was right! I guessed it. Um, not right away, but you know, no, once I, you know, I did guess it. What happened when you got home? I had some chips stuck to me, so I ate those, and then I just hid. Why didn't you tell anyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it. I only just moved in, I already made a big mistake. I'm, I'm a very shy lady detective. I make myself invisible so no one can see me. That's have been why nobody saw you last night. I wonder what- <gasps> She's a chameleon! Can you become not invisible? Uninvisible? Visible? If you insist. You're fro- Oh no, she's a frog? Oh. You're a frog, like me. Oh, so she's not a fan. She just is a frog. Detective, are you gonna tell everyone? Hmm. I I'm brand new and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone what I did, they'll be upset. I think they'd forgive you right away. But what if they don't? I want to make a good first impression. It's your choice, detective. Let's face the music. Hello. Hi! 
My name is Lola. Hi, Lola. I am a frog. Just like me. We're so glad you can make it, Lola. I'm sorry that I didn't miss so much commotion trying to get the parade ready for you. Someone destroyed it last night. Mary, don't tell her that. We're sorry that someone destroyed it, Lola. The detective has been trying to figure out who did it. Uh, I'm gonna say she did it. I'm sorry. Well, I solved the mystery. Who was it? It was an accident. Lola dropped her glasses last night when picking up some shoes she brought on Whiz Bay. Lola can't see without her glasses. She had a lot of trouble getting home last night. She bumped into just about everything. I am so sorry. I feel awful. I realized what happened when I had lots of chips stuck to me. I ate them. They were delicious. The parade was for me all along and I didn't realize. Lola was very scared of your reaction, so she did her house out of shame. Oh, Lola, it's okay. You should have told us. We completely understand. Yeah, Mary destroys stuff all the time. Yeah, I really do. Nobody- Plus, Naughty tried to vacuum you up, so I feel like the parade being destroyed is kind of fine. I thought she was a ghost. That's what they all say. <laughs> See, it's all fine. Everyone's nice and happy. They're getting along. We're also really excited you're here, Lola. We don't need decorations anyway. I really thought Ralph did it. Victor! Victor, apologize to Ralph! Ralph, I'm sorry I accused you. It's okay. I'm also sorry. I really didn't mean to destroy the parade, but I should have spoken up when I did. I'm a very nervous lady. Plus, what a terrible first impression. Not as bad as my first impression. What did you do? Ran over Mary by accident? What the hell? <laughs> Should we get this party started? What do you think, Lola? Yes, please. Aww. I see everyone's nice and happy. Yo! Ooh, crazy! Uh, she's wearing the party hat on her nuzzle. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> Look at me over there. I'm wearing the hat. I'm wearing a party hat. I told you it could be done. Yeah! Rinfalo, I'm glad. She! Look at me go! I see, I, I knew I could wear a hat! Look at her go! Lola deserves the world. I'm a Lola fan. A little bit later. Oh, we're back here. Where's the picture? Yo! Look at us! Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency, Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Detective! Great job shopping the invisible wizard mystery. That was quite the head scratcher. It sure was. I was shocked the culprit was the wizard herself. Yeah, the mystery- the mysteries I solve are never what they seem. It's always a misunderstanding or an accident. Nobody's ever malicious on purpose in my mysteries. I'm sorry that crime- I'm so glad that crime isn't real. Didn't you get extorted earlier? <laughs> yes. I think I should crime. I suppose that crime is real after all. I just got a call about a Josie case detective. That sounds exciting. It is, but it's also the most challenging case I've ever sent you on. I'm confident in your abilities, but you might need backup on this one. Oh, like who? I'm gonna send Lobster Cop to help you with the case. Fuck Lobster Cop. All my homies hate Lobster Cop. Really? Lobster Cop handles such advanced cases. Won't I just slow him down? Nonsense, detective. You're showing her a very capable mystery solver. I think- I think you're in the running to be the new number one. He's gonna sabotage me. You're making me blush. You'll be a okay So where am I headed next? Catch you over the phone. It's too sensitive. Wow. Head over to the train station. I left a ticket for you there. The train will take you where you need to be. Good luck, detective. Do you think you can handle it? I can handle anything. <gasps> no way. Frog Detective 3 is gonna be crazy. Out of detective has left. <gasps> the notebook. Not my notebook. No, I spent so much time making it perfect. <gasps> no. My notebook. Whoever took my notebooks going to jail. There will be crime now because I I'm not I'm not standing for that. <laughs> I like the dude driving the train. He looks cool. Ooh, we're in like a little desert. Look me go. Cactus. Cinematography is crazy. The detective will return in Cowboy County. Corruption at Cowboy County. <laughs> I love the tumbleweed. 